And yes, I am a nerd and I love it. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? Today's video is going to be about morning scripture meditation. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you can get notified when I post new videos. I'm going to be doing videos about visual impairment and especially staying positive with a disability. So if that's something you'd be interested in, please hit that subscribe button. Um, today's video, like I said, is going to be a little bit different. It's about morning scripture meditation, and this is just something, just a little bit of research on, on how in the Bible Jesus heals the blind and, you know, just does his healings in general. And I found this verse very interested, interesting and wanted to share it with you to share my thoughts and ideas that I had about it. So here we go. The scripture is John 9, 1 through 3, if you want to follow with me. And the scripture reads, As he passed by, he saw a man blind from birth, and his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, It was not that this man sinned or his parents, but that the works of God might be displayed in him. John 9, 1 through 3. And that the works of God might be displayed in him. That is just so awesome to me. You know, I've said before that I have no regrets and that includes being legally blind. I was born this way and you know, whether God may be this way or not, I truly believe that he has a plan for me and that is to be able to help others and share my story with others and share my experiences and also just to be an advocate and educate the public about visual impairment. I also think that this can be true if you weren't born blind. Maybe you developed your visual impairment later on in life and you know if you go and read all of the healings that Jesus did with the blind I've you know been reading some articles and a lot of them say that you know Jesus never healed the blind the same way twice. We as individuals are unique just as you know maybe our medical conditions that what cause our visual impairment are and so like he knows to heal all of us and to help all of us differently and so I believe that you know God wants to do his good works through us even you and that you know, the key to that though is allowing him to be able to work through you, allowing him in so that he can show you all of the positives that can come from this situation. Now, have you ever been in a relationship with someone or had a relationship with someone where they were like, hey, help me, help me change this about myself? Um, you help them as best you can and you give them words of wisdom and you know, everything like that. And then whenever it comes down to it, you know, you realize they haven't been given 100% and it's because they need to be the ones to make the decision to change. Like until they make that decision, you can help them as much as you want to and you know, like the saying goes, you can help them to your blue in the face or you can talk to them to your blue in the face. But until they decide to change themselves and make that decision, you can be there for to support them, but they've got to be the ones to decide to change and that's the same way with letting God show you all of the positives that can come from your situation you have to be the one to allow him to do that everyone is special and unique and you matter and if you think that you're not important you are and I wanted to share two quotes that I have found um, that or not really found but the quotes that I love and I wanted to be able to share them with you. So the first one reads, butterflies cannot see their wings, but the rest of the world can. You, you are beautiful. And while you may not see it, we can. So the next quote is from Doctor Who, and it says, in 900 years of time and space, I have never met anyone who wasn't important. And I love both of those quotes. And yes, I am a nerd and I love it. <laughs> so going back to that Bible verse, let's read it again. As he passed by, he saw a man blind from birth, and his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? 
Jesus answered, It was not that this man sinned or his parents, but that the works of God might be displayed in him. And again, that's John 9, 1, 9, 1 through 3. And there's two views here if you look at that verse. There's the views of the disciples who are looking on the negative. And they're looking at it like, what did this man do? What did his parents do that he, for him to be born this way? And Jesus and even the blind man are looking on the positive side of it. And they're saying, you know, G you know the blind man's going, I know Jesus can heal me. I'm looking on the positive. And Jesus is saying, you know, the positive is, you know, that his good works are going to be shown through this man. So which one are you? Are you the one, are you the disciples? Or are you going to be the blind man and Jesus? So this goes back to um, one of the tips that I gave in one of my earlier videos. And that video is staying positive even with a disability. And I'm going to put that in a card right up here. So you can check that out if you are more interested in it. But um, one of the first tips that I give in it is focus on the positives. You know, there's all different kinds of situations that life can throw you. So you can look at it and go, what can I get out of this as positive? Or what can I do to make this a positive situation? Or, you know, what about this can I focus on that as positive? And, you know, if you focus on the negatives, then that's not really productive. And I said this in a comment recently, and it was um, that there's already so much bad and negative and just hate in the world that we don't need to be the ones to bring ourselves down as well. It's just, it's not like I said, it's not productive. And so you need to look at it and go, what is something I can do to help myself? What is something I can do to help others? Or what is something I can do to even, you know, help the world, help make a difference? And the more you start doing that and the more focus on the positives you do, then it's just going to start coming more naturally to you. So like I said, these are just some thoughts and and stuff that I wanted to share with you that I got from this passage. And um, let me know down in the comments below what you received from it. And that's all the video for today. Like I said, if this is something that y'all would be interested in me doing, either on a weekly basis or bi-weekly basis, then please let me know. I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks. Bye.